Hello, YouTube. After my last attempt, um, my attempt at making this video failed because my camera ran out of batteries and it lost all of its progress, so I'll have to start all over again. Oh, this is the first time you're seeing it, so. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing, um, the full series 24 um, Lego minifigures. Um, as you could see my, well, as you might have saw, my buddy, Croft Studios, just reviewed, um, series 10, so I thought I'd review series 24. So, he failed at getting a Mr. Gold, but, um, I actually got something even rarer called Mr. Black, but I'll show that to you afterwards. So, first up we have, oh yeah, um, this series is Star Wars minifigures, so I thought that was pretty cool, that's why I wanted to collect them all, although Mr. Black is not Star Wars. So, here's the first person. This, well, um, first I'm going to be showing to you the first, uh, 17 normal um, army guys that like would appear many times. Um, this here is the uh, clone trooper. This is just a standard clone trooper. He's got a nice crest on his helmet as you can see and uh, underneath all of this he has the um, face which is pretty much the same as Anakin Skywalker's face. So, um, on the back of him, on his the back of his torso, he's got some nice printing. He's got a little console there and part of his belt. So it's a pretty cool minifigure, just just like an army guy, I suppose. Although I'm not gonna add him to my army, I'm just gonna keep him. So on to the next minifigure. All right, so this next minifigure is one that would um, probably battle the clone trooper. This is a battle droid, just your average battle droid. Um, it's got a average gun and a pretty cool head. I don't really think this is all that interesting. It's just a droid thing, so I'll move on to the next one. Okay, so this minifigure here is probably my most favorite minifigure of all time. This thing um, is a clone trooper, but it's a really awesome clone trooper. Clone trooper. It's got um, a nice custom helmet that's got like a snout thing, and it's got a normal crest, and but it's got a floodlight here, which I could also put a visor, like a big thick red visor on there. Again, it's got um, a knack in Skywalker's face underneath. So, I mean, you wouldn't really see his face, so it doesn't really matter. He's got this, like, um, thing. Like, this shoulder. It's like cape material. You know, it's just like cloth. It's a neck thing. He's got on his back this little... I don't know what it's supposed to be. If it's supposed to be like a jetpack or something. But, it's still cool. And then... What I don't get is he's got like a black skirt thing. Again, this is fabric. He's got like a black skirt. And I don't really get that. But um, he's got these short mini guns. Which are pretty cool. Um, this minifigure's uh, torso printing is very cool, I think. Um, and so is his leg printing. So enough with that. On to the next minifigure. Sorry, I accidentally broke it. Um, here is another one of my favorite minifigures. Um, um, it's another clone trooper. It's got a got Anakin Skywalker's face underneath, but this one I really like because of its helmet. It's uh, 
sort of like a scout speeder thing, except it's got a nice wing logo here on each side, and it's got like some tribal markings or something like that on the top, and it's just got like a red decorations, and so does this um, torso, well not the torso itself, but whoops, the arms are red, so it's got a sniper rifle, so that's another one of my favorite minifigures. Okay, next up is um a it's uh pretty much a normal clone trooper except he's a captain. I forget what captain he is, but he's got a decorated orange um helmet. And he's also got a orange decorated torso as well and orange arms, sniper rifle and binoculars. And he's just got a normal back printing, so pretty cool. Not my favorite though. Okay, uh, this one I won't won't take long. This is a um, a normal clone trooper, except it has a jetpack. This is just hard plastic jetpack. So same and everything. So on to the next figure. This here, this here is another one of my favorites. Just just because I think it's cool. It's um. A 501st Legion pilot. It's sort of got a little crust here. Um, again, underneath it has the Anakin Skywalker face. Um, a printed, a uh, blue decorated torso, as well as pants. The normal clone troopers don't have that. It has blue arms. Normal back printing, but so it's pretty cool, I think. On to the next figure. Okay, this here is one of the four Old Republic mi minifigures that were included in the series. Um, this is a... Honestly, I don't know what it is, but... It's sort of like a sniper or something. It's, uh, these don't have the Nakin Skywalker heads in them, but they have, they have different ones. Um... This is a pretty cool helmet, I think. It's got like a snout thing and sort of looks futuristic. Um, there is an orange printed um, torso. It's uh, got a little bit of orange in the back, but this design here is different than the normal clone design. Um, just a little bit. And the pant design has uh, just some orange on it and then like the knee cap things. So, on to the next minifigure. Okay, this minifigure here um, is another Old Republic thing. It's pretty much exactly the same as the old one, except this one has a very strange gun. I don't really get what this is supposed to be. It's some sort of fusion plasma something, I don't know, but I think it's still pretty cool. So, you give that back to him. And then on to the next mini figure. Alright, so this here is the evil side. The evil, one of the evil two of the Dark Republic minifigures. Um, it has sort of a Darth Vader looking helmet. It's not exactly the same shape as it, but um, it's still pretty cool. Underneath, it's got sort of an angry face. Er, normal gun, and then uh, his torso and leg printing is very cool. I think, along with the back, is just sort of you know a little design. Put the helmet back on, and on to the next minifigure. Okay, so this minifigure is a lot the same, except it doesn't have a gun because it is a pilot. This minifigure. Uh, instead of having the red torso like the other one, it has a black torso. Same printing and everything, but except for the helmet has different printing. It has a thinner stripe on top and more silver on it and and such. So that's all for that minifigure. On to the next one.
Okay, here is pretty much... Yeah, this one is into the next era of um, war. This is a snow hoth trooper. It's got a cool hat here that has the backpack built in. It's got a black head. I don't really understand that. What the point of that is, if it's just to save ink or something, but... Um, it's got some... Sort of looks like compact, um... Printing. Like, not compact printing, but compact, compact consoles and stuff on the front. Nothing on the back, because when you put this on, it just... Oops. It just covers it right up. So, that's a pretty cool figure, I think. On to the next figure. Alright, this one here is another uh, Hoth fighter troop. Um, this is one of the rebels. This is the good side. He's got a... Um, this guy has a sniper rifle for shooting along the long deserts of Hoth. Long snow deserts. Um, this guy's got a pretty cool helmet here. This one is not built into the backpack. It has... Um, attachable goggles here that go on. It's all white. And um what I think is pretty funny about this guy is just he just got a normal face except it's like the normal original face except it is on a peach normal skin color head. So I kinda like that. I'm probably gonna use that for something else someday. Put that back on there. Um he is sort of like a almost looks like he's wearing a, some sort of vest on his torso. I don't know if that's some sort of like jacket or something bulletproof vest, but still pretty cool. Um, on to the next minifigure. Okay, this here is the normal um, the normal rebel trooper. Um, he has this normal gun. He has this sort of um, fancy kind of torso, I guess. You could use it in different minifigures, but he has this cool helmet that has a detachable visor thing that's supposed to stay on there, but it doesn't even cover his eyes. It's just up on top, and he's got this chin strap thing, which is supposed to look like it is um, connecting to the helmet. And, uh... Oops, dropped it. And, uh, he has just normal gray leggings. So, no back printing, so on to the next minifigure. Okay, this guy here is um, a normal um, I don't think that's supposed to I don't remember putting that on there. That must have been my sister's. Anyways, um, this is a normal uh, Gosh, what is it? Anyways, it's one of the bad guy troopers. Um, it's got a normal gun. It's just he's just like the average um, trooper. He's nothing special. So, on to the next figure. Um, here we have a uh, one of those. It's sort of like the other trooper, except it's a pilot. It's got sort of dark printing. It's pretty much all the same, except it's black. And instead of black, um eyes and nose thing. It has silver to contrast the black, which I thought was pretty cool. So, um, that's the end. That's it of all of the, uh, normal army figures. So, um, next up is the random mini figures that appear throughout the movie. The first one is a pretty funny one. I don't know what it's called or what it does, but it's some sort of alien thing. That has four eyes, one tooth, and a gray mohawk. So, um, this whole top part here is one piece. It's cool because it has um, a cool mohawk, and yeah, it's all, it's all in one piece. It's got like a armor shell thing in the back that just all goes over this headless minifigure thing. Makes it look pretty cool. So, on to the next minifigure. Okay, this here is, um, 
I forget what this one is called as well because my short-term memory loss is bothering me right now. Um, so it's like a uh, some alien thing. This is a hard plastic head. Doesn't bend or anything. That goes on to a purple torso, which is kind of cool, I suppose. Um, no back printing. It's just got like a gold vest thing there and some light light green pants. So, on to the next figure. We have, um, this. This, um, is General Grievous. I did not include it in the Jedi category that I will be showing you because it is not a Jedi. He has lightsabers, but he's not a Jedi. So, um, this guy's pretty cool. Um, darn it. His arms, he does have four arms, but this is kind of weird how his arms, one of them just comes right off the other one. These two parts are exactly the same. They just go on there like that, like so. And uh, this uh, is his head. It's kind of cool. He looks kind of angry. He's got bags under his eyes. You know, yellow eyes. And he sort of looks, he does look really robotic instead of the old General Grievous looks more like a skeleton than a robot. And I like how this looks more like a robot, because that's kind of what he is. So, on to the next minifigure. This here is, again, I forget his name, because it's, but it's some sort of um, Emperor Chancellor guy or something like that, who looks pretty important, because he's got this big crown, you know. He thinks he's all bad, because he's got a nice hat. But, um... He's got a nice head, he's got um, red pupils and yellow eyes and wrinkles all over. And uh, his torso is pretty cool, it makes him look important. It looks like a robe thing with uh, orange arms, red legs to match the torso. So, on to the next figure. All right. This is pretty much the only one that isn't really a figure, it is R2-D2. Um, R2-D2's cool. He's made of four different pieces. He's got this dome piece here, which has nice printing all the way around. That's not a sticker or anything. You can see his eyes and stuff. And then he's, and then he also, his body is made up of this, like, canister thing that has printing on the front to look like, like, all the controls and such that he has. And then he has two of these legs, which are cool parts that snap into the holes on the side, like so. Put his head on top. We got R2-D2. Right? Okay, on to the next minifigure. Okay, this here is an Ewok. Um, there are two Ewoks in this series, and I guess I can show them both to you at the same time, just because it'd be faster. Just because you don't have all day to watch this amazing video. Um, these two Ewoks, well, the Ewoks, they both have short legs. Um, underneath this top part here, they, ah, they have all of the same colored body pieces. As you can see. This one's kind of awkward, but they have, like, all the same colored body pieces underneath them, and each one of them has this top thing to them. It's including the head and makes them look chubby because it goes outward. So, um, the black one has a spear, and the tan one has a bow. So, and that is that. Okay, the next um, minifigure in this series is the Tusken Raider. This has got to be another one of my favorite people. Um, honestly, the Tusken Raider came with a different, more modern-looking gun, but I switched it out with this one just because it matches this, matches their style more, and it's actually more like the gun that they use in the movies. Um, so this guy has a really cool... So he's got the uh, weird eyeballs here and the weird mouth, which is more like just like a whole thing in his face. Um, he's got a cool torso printing, which is very cool, I think. He's got some of the, like the ammo belts that go across his chest. 
and then they go around to the back and no printing on his legs but I still think he's a really cool figure so um, next up I will be showing you the Jedi there are five Jedi's here only one of them came without lightsabers which is kinda stupid so I'll show you that one first okay so here is the minifigure that doesn't have the lightsabers I forgot what the name is but um it's a woman it's got long this is solid plastic doesn't bend they got long hair just kinda design cool they got orange skin orange skin they got some cool um details on their face white marks on their face um... Those are, um has some pretty cool uh... torso printing i suppose not very creative but um... there's nothing on the back which is also not very creative just some but then there's just some normal gray legs so um... on to the next minifigure this here is yoda um, Yoda here has the new green colored lightsaber, which is pretty cool, I think. The old one was more of a yellowish color, and you'll see when I show you a knack in Skywalker. Um, Yoda has a bendy, softer plastic head. It's got some spiky hair back here. Um, he's um, on his torso here, he's got some robes that are just like a robe here he's got a hood back here that you could put up and then he's got some short stubby legs that cannot be moved and uh... so on to the next minifigure here is a cool minifigure this is a Nakin Skywalker um... this uh... a Nakin here has um... some cool hair He's got some nice shaggy hair. He's got the same hair as um, the clone trooper, or yeah, the clone troopers would have. And uh, he's got uh, sort of a black robe printed on his um, torso, and but there's nothing on the back. Um, as you can see here, this is the older green colored lightsaber. Um, I'll compare it here to the new green. It's yellower. It's uh, so the older one was yellower. So that's um, an Anakin Skywalker. On to the next one. Okay, second or er, third to last here. This is his son. Um, after um, after defeating Darth Vader himself, his father. This is uh. Luke Skywalker, who would be award, um, g uh, being accepting his award at the, um, whatever palace place or whatever. So you can see, I really like this figure because he's got the uh, award on his chest, which is like a gold color, and he's got a yellow shirt here, which is pretty cool. No printing on the back, sadly. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, he's got like a belt thing here that's not connected all the way so it's kinda weird he's got a nice face nice calm face and some uh, blonde long hair I don't really get that but he's got a blue lightsaber this is probably my favorite colored lightsaber just because it's pretty so beautiful so that's it for him now on to the next minifigure this here is probably my most favorite minifigure of all time Darth Vader so this is Darth Vader here he actually came with a chrome colored lightsaber instead of the normal shiny ones this is a chrome one so um he's pretty much all black he's got a black cape which is just just black black fabric and uh... he's got a cool helmet here this helmet is uh... Let me get an extra light on this. This helmet here is like I think I'm pretty sure it's probably just a specially molded piece, but it's still really cool. It's, it's got like a triangular nose thing, and it goes out to the side on the edges. And then we have his face. It's all cut up and gray, pale. I guess you can say. 
and he's got um some like buttons or something. I don't know what all that's supposed to do that's on his chest, but it's got nice design. Um nothing on his back, nothing on his back printing or his legs, so but it's still a very awesome minifigure. So on to the on to the last one. This last minifigure is um a rare minifigure. It doesn't have to do with Star Wars, but his name is Mr. Black, and he, there's only 200 of them in any packages out there. So, this is him. Um, I guess I'll have to get some light on this again, because he's all black, it's kind of hard to see. So, um, yeah, so, uh, this here is Mr. Black. He's just an all-black minifigure with weapons. Um, he's got a black katana thing. If it was katana, he would hold it like this, I suppose. But he held it the other way, so. He's got a katana, and he's got a very... This is really cool. I really like this. Um, he had a... Uzi. This is um like an Uzi thing made of two different pieces out of a black hand and a black pistol piece. And they put it together like this, and it's a came out to be a really cool looking Uzi thing. So, take off the weapons, and we can look at him. Um, he's got some normal black hair. I don't, I don't think this guy's anything to be so excited about because anyone, I mean, a, a lot of people could just build it. But, um, he's got this nice hair piece here. Just like a shaggy sort of, and then he's just got a black body all black pieces so put them back together um putting it back together so I don't know um my buddy Croft Studios was trying to uh get the Mr. Gold guy but he couldn't and when I got this I laughed at him I said haha I got Mr. Black so anyways thanks for watching this video um Juminug Productions here. So, uh, like my Twitter and follow me on Facebook. Bye.